Uh, about 10 past three this afternoon, a male walked into Westfield at Bondi Junction. He left the centre very shortly after and returned about 20 past three. As he moved through the centre, he engaged with about nine people. It is clear that during that engagement, he caused harm to those people, we believe, by stabbing them with a weapon he was carrying. Very clearly, a range of reports were made of the incident. Police attended promptly. A single unit officer, inspector of police, was nearby, attended, uh, went into the centre, directed by a range of people. She confronted the offender, who had moved by this stage to level five, as she continued to walk quickly behind him to catch up with him. He turned, faced her, raised a knife, she discharged a firearm and that person is now deceased. I'm advised that there are five victims who are now deceased as a result of the actions of this offender. Uh, there are more than several other people who have been conveyed to hospital. A number of those are in serious and or critical conditions at this stage and I do not have further information in relation to um, descriptions of those people. I know one of them is a small child, as is the case in, in these incidents. Uh, a critical incident has been declared uh, and investigations in relation to the matter uh, have commenced and are continuing uh, both at the scene and a number of uh, hospitals uh, in the nearby area. Uh, from preliminary inquiries, it would appear that this person has acted alone. I am content that there is no continuing threat. Uh, police, as I've said, have commenced investigations into the matter, which will continue through the evening. As I have said, I do not have details of victims who have been um, killed by this individual, nor those who have been conveyed to hospital for treatment. So I cannot provide you further information in relation to them, only to say that very clearly our hearts go out uh, to all of them, uh, as they do to anyone touched by this terrible incident this afternoon. I do not have information in relation to the offender. I do not know at this stage who he is. You would be, uh, you would understand this is quite raw. Uh, inquiries are very new and we are continuing to make attempts to identify the offender in this matter. Uh, that is it for the moment in terms of information that I have for you. Brent from New South Wales Ambulance. Thank you, Tony. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, shortly after three o'clock uh, today, New South Wales Ambulance received multiple triple zero calls for uh, persons stabbed within Westfield Bondi Junction. Uh, we've responded a total of 40 uh, resources to the scene who remain on scene uh, still. Uh, that included a total of four medical teams. Uh, New South Wales Ambulance uh, assessed and transported uh, eight, uh, eight patients uh, to various uh, facilities, hospital facilities uh, across Sydney uh, and assessed uh, a total of six patients uh, who have been deemed deceased on scene. Thank you. Questions? I'm sorry I didn't catch that. There's nothing that we are aware of at the scene that would indicate any motive or any ideology. So are you ruling out terrorism? We're not ruling anything out. You said he went into the centre, went away and came back. Yes. What went on there? Do you know where he We do not know. What I do know is that he did enter the centre at 3 o'clock. He left for a short period, returned at 3.20. And Was what he... is that weapon when it's nothing? A knife of some description. I don't have those particulars. What's, What's the this? period of time between when these attacks were first reported and when the situation was brought up? This all happened very, very quickly. The officer was in the near vicinity, attended on her own, was guided to the location of the offender by people who were in the centre, and she took the actions that she did, saving a range of people's lives. Did I hear you correctly before you said she was an inspector? An inspector, that's right. So a very senior police officer. 
a senior police officer. And how was she now? Was she alone? She was on her own. Yeah. And how long between when she arrived on scene until she had that knife? She engaged immediately on her arrival to the scene. What did you say? Did, did you say that shouts anything, or did, was there any force? I don't have any indication of any motivation coming from the scene at all. You must appreciate uh, things are very, very raw at this stage, and we are in the very early stages of investigations. Tony, we, heard, we know there's one baby that uh, has been stabbed. Of the five dead, all the others injured, do you know if there are remainder adults or any other children? Oh, I don't have that detail at the moment, I'm sorry. Have you ever seen anything like this in your career? Oh, this is a really difficult circumstance. Uh, no. It's a very big crime scene here. What's the police investigation going to be like over the next couple of days? Lengthy. Lengthy and precise. There were reports of people still hiding in stores. What's the process now in terms of checking? Uh, we, are, we are working through the crime scene to retain control, and you would understand that. You know, first and foremost, this is about dealing with this terrible situation, making sure that all people are safe and then working through and returning to normalcy. How do you know that he was in the centre and came back? Is that from CCTV or did he interact with someone? No, from C monitoring of CCTV. Ladies and gents, oh, I'm sorry, it's really difficult at this very early stage to give more information. I'll be briefing our executive uh, shortly and I understand that there will be uh, further briefings later. And how many witnesses have been involved? jumped in and tried to assist some of the victims? What do you have to say to some of those people who, who tried to help? Oh, I'm not sure of the detail, but there are obviously people who become uh, very brave in circumstances. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Just tell us about terrorism. That was the only Thank thing you very much. Involved. And we can't say yet.